Hi and welcome. Today we are going to make uh, Kreisstolle, which is a German uh, cake especially for Christmas. And it's very simple. It's just uh, ordinary dough but with some goodies in it. Uh, one of them is a lot of raisin and uh, also candied orange peel that have been um, soaking in rum for quite some time now. Uh, I've had it in there for two days. So, and then it's just a lot of butter, uh, sugar, mi milk, and yeast, of course, and also marzipan, or uh, as we call it here in Sweden, it's called mandel mass, it's, or mandel massa, which is almond paste, really. It's not the marzipan that you, you put and you can make figures with, but it's, it's the one that is a little bit, it's not white, it's more uh, grayish, I would say, or beige or cocky, uh, something there in between. So, this is what we are going to, uh, to make today, and it will not take a long time, it's just some waiting as a matter of fact, but the uh, procedure as in itself is not that difficult really. So, let's get started. There are not many ingredients and you can find the exact amount of each ingredient at my blog. But you start a couple of days before the baking day that raisin and can candied orange peel are soaked in rum. Then on the day of baking you heat the milk to 98.6 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, crumble the yeast in a bowl and then you add the milk and process it until the uh, yeast is dissolved. Then you add uh, the spices, the sugar, the egg, and also the almond flour. And just process it for a very, very short while before you actually add the rest of the flour. And uh, just mix it. Then you add the butter a little at a time. And add gradually more and then once during this process you can uh, scrap the sides of the bowl and then you can add the final part of the butter and now you process it for five minutes uh, until the dough is not sticking to the sides of the bowl again then you add the salt mix it for one or two minutes before you add the raisin that, and the peel of orange that have been soaked in rum and process it until it's just mixed together. On a uh, clean kitchen counter you put the little flour and then you take out the dough and just push it together and I measured it, uh, the total amount of the dough and uh, I decided to divide it into three parts then shape each part or into into a very uh, nice and smooth dough and uh, put it on parchment paper, cover with plastic and a kitchen towel and let it rest for 30 to 45 minutes. Meanwhile, you can make um, sausages that are as long as the bread and put them aside of uh, almond paste. Then you just uh, roll it a little bit like, uh, like uh, into an oblong shape and put a sausage in the, in the middle sausage of almond paste of course <laughs> fold it and then just uh, it shouldn't go all the way it should just be like a blanket and then push the roller at the end of the where the almond paste ends it should look something like this like a blanket that baby Jesus is in then you put it on uh, parchment paper again and uh, let it rest for 45 minutes clarify the butter meanwhile and then the total time is 30 plus 20 minutes in 329 Fahrenheit if you have convection of and otherwise 365 Fahrenheit. Then you take it out and brush the clarified butter on top and put it back again. And meanwhile, you mix the icing sugar with the vanilla sugar. Then you take them out when they are done and uh, you brush them uh, with um, uh, clarified butter over and under. And then a lot of icing sugar on top. I, I tell you, it, it's, it becomes messy, so bless this mess. 
but uh, and then you uh, fold it uh, in in wrap it in uh, plastic wrap when when they are cooled off and uh, it has to rest for 14 days before it can be served so and it's a wonderful gift to give away for christmas as we say in iran or enjoy